anytime you see addition, multiplication, subtraction, or division in the same equation, you should automatically think about PEMDAS. Why? Because PEMDAS is going to be your map, your guide. You're going to need it if you want to arrive at the right answer. So first, let's establish what PEMDAS means. So PEMDAS stands for parentheses or brackets, exponents, multiplication or division, addition or subtraction. The reason I put or is because depending on what comes first, multiplication or division is what we should do. The same thing applies for addition or subtraction. So in this case, let's look at our map. Do we have any parentheses? No, we don't. Do we have any exponents? No, we don't. Do we have multiplication or division? Ding, ding, ding. Yes, we do. Therefore, that is the exact first thing that we should do. So two times four is eight. We bring the plus sign down and we bring the three down. Now, the only thing left to do is to add because that's the only symbol that is left. So three plus eight is 11. Super important for you to follow the order because if you don't, you might be thinking, well, let me just add first. Three plus two is five times four is 20. 20 is way different than 11. Now we have seven minus parentheses, three times two parentheses. Now don't be scared, don't be afraid. We're gonna take this step by step and you're gonna see how easy this problem is. So, do we have any parentheses in our equation? Yes, we do. So we're gonna focus exactly what is in the parentheses. And what is inside is multiplication. So we're gonna do three times two is six. And there's nothing left to do in the parentheses. Therefore, we can leave them alone. We no longer have to worry about them. We bring the subtract down and we bring the seven down. And guess what? All we have to do now is subtract. There's nothing else to do. So seven minus six is going to equal one. All right, this problem is now a little bit tricky, but don't worry, I'm gonna break it down for you. So we have subtraction and addition. Automatically PEMDAS. So I go to my PEMDAS. Do I have any parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Multiplication or division? No. But I do have addition and subtraction. So wait a second. Which one should I do first? Because in PEMDAS it says to do add first, but I see that subtraction is first. So remember this, whenever you have addition or subtraction in the same equation, whichever comes first is the one that you should do. It's like you're reading a book from left to right. Which one comes first from left to right? Well, subtraction, right? So we must subtract first. Six minus three is three. We bring down the plus sign. We bring down the five. Three plus five is eight. Before we do this next problem, if you're enjoying these videos and would like to continue learning, please go ahead, like, subscribe, share the video, and comment your favorite part so that these videos can help your friends become geniuses just like yourself. All right, we see now that there's multiplication. We see the parentheses, addition, subtraction, ding, 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 ding. Automatically, you should not only think about PEMDAS, write it down, and not only write it down, but also follow it. Imagine having a map and not following it. You're gonna get lost. So you have a map, so use it so that you can get to the right answer, so that you can get to the appropriate destination. So let's go. Do we have parentheses? Yes, we do. So we're gonna focus only what is in the parentheses. And what is in the parentheses? Addition. So six plus three is nine. And we bring everything down. We bring the subtract down, the four, the multiplication sign, and the two. Now we have to decide what to do next. We don't have parentheses. We don't have exponents. Do we have multiplication or division? Yes, we do and it's right here, so that's what we should do next. Two times nine is 18. I bring down the subtract, I bring down the four, and all that is left to do is subtract. 18 minus four is 14. 
Before we do this last problem, I wanna congratulate you for all this extra work and time you are putting into your studies. It is going to pay off. So good job, amazing job. Let's do this last problem and we'll get out of here. Let's look at our map. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do. So we're gonna focus only what is in the parentheses. You can even imagine them as goggles. Let's focus on what is inside the goggles. So let's see what we have. Do we have any parentheses inside of the parentheses? No, we don't. We don't have any exponents. We don't have multiplication or division, but we do have addition or subtraction. Which one should we do first? Well, the one that comes first, which is subtract. So eight minus two is six. And personally, I know this takes a little bit extra work, a few more seconds, but I like to write down everything again so that I can be organized and that I won't get confused. So eight minus two is six. I write down everything else. I bring it down so that I can stay organized and not miss a single number. So now, do I have parentheses? Yes, I do. Inside the parentheses, I only have addition. So that's all I need to focus on. Six plus three is nine. There's nothing left to do in the parentheses. So I don't have to bring the parentheses down, but I do have to bring down the rest of the numbers, which is times four divided by two. We're still not done. We have to keep looking at our map. I stress this so much to my students. Look at your map. Look at your guide. It's telling you exactly what to do. If you don't look at it, the chances of you getting lost increase. And we don't want that. We want the right answer so that we can get amazing grades. So what is next? We don't have any parentheses, exponents. We do have multiplication and we also have division. So what should we do first? You should know by now. Well, whichever comes first. And in this case, multiplication comes first. So let's do that. Nine times four is 36 divided by two. There's nothing left to do. And we know that 36 divided by two is a Team. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to keep on learning, check out this video and this video. But before you go, always remember that you are smart, you are loved, and you can do it. Until next time.